Hello, and welcome to Pendulum Tao Seen and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. You're here because you want your daily tarot reading. To move things along quickly for you, just take your cursor and glide it along the bottom of this screen over the timeline when you see the name of your zodiac sign pop up. That's where your daily tarot reading is for you. Now, without further ado, Let's get started. Are you ready? Welcome, Aries. Let's see what the cards have in store for you on this fine upcoming day. Get our crystal ready, get our cards out. Do a little shuffling here, and we'll be all set. The star. Everything works the way it should. Your life achieves wholeness, unity. Now you must show confidence and belief in your goals. Begin with a gesture that illustrates your belief. Then work to refine the belief that you're planning today and it will reach far into the future. You're on the right track. Your plans are about to bear fruit. Indecision and inner conflict are now resolved. The more positive your outlook, on your plans, the better your prospects for success. The star fulfills promises and brings good fortune in general. Okay, keep that in the forefront of your mind today, Aries, and you have a terrific day. Hello, Taurus. Let's get the cards ready for you. Get you embedded in the cards, and we're going to see what comes to the surface for you for this wonderful coming day. Okay, and here we go. The Nine of Pentacles. Fulfillment. You complete situations that were met at another level and integrate them into your life. You achieve material comfort, financial security, and a sense of inner peace. You enjoy relationships, but when you're alone, you're not lonely. You relish the personal environment. You've created your home, your garden, your pets, and comfortable lifestyle. You don't depend upon constant companionship to make you feel complete. You are an independent person and you like it that way. Also, you're open to friendships and conversing with others. You're an all-around good person, Taurus. Enjoy your day. Hi, Gemini. Let's see what the cards have in store for you today. Okay, we're going to get you all mixed in here. Okay. There we go. And we have the Three of Cups. Unity and group activities are emphasized. Refined plans set into motion. Celebration. It may be the result of a marriage, uh, the holidays, family reunions, births, baptisms, engagements, good fortune, success in short, whatever fills you with joy. Your intuition blossoms. You clarify your emotions and belief systems. If you've been reading cards or doing psychic readings just for friends, you will soon go public. If you've been mired in confusion about a relationship, the confusion will lift. A pending matter reaches a happy conclusion. Estrangements are amended in a joyful reunion. Old wounds heal and allow you to move forward with your life. 
A good day is ahead for you, Gemini. Get out there and enjoy that day. And next up we have Cancer. All right, let's get the cards ready here. All right, shuffle, shuffle. Getting Cancer embedded in the cards. Let's see what we can do here. All right. The Sun. You feel empowered because your goals seem clearer than they've ever been. You embrace your destiny and realize you've created it. By saying yes to opportunity, your life opens into new vistas. Be magnanimous and forgiving to other people. You can afford to be generous now that victory is assured. You may travel to a warm climate for business, pleasure, maybe both. This could be an overseas travel, could be going to Mexico, Egypt, Greece, India, or Morocco. Your expectations may involve the awakening of a past memory associated with one of these places. And that's not to say you can't just have a day trip it's a one-day reading. On the other hand, it could be the first day of a journey. Either way you look at it, you're having a good, empowered day. Enjoy it, Cancer. Welcome, Leo. Let's see what the cards can do for you on this beautiful day. All right. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Shuffling for Leo. All right. The King of Pentacles. A business or professional contact helps with practical matters. This man is pragmatic, responsible, trustworthy, and always concerned with quality. Some may perceive him as dull. However, no other type has his confidence or ability to plan and produce. For a woman... This king often means that a man with these qualities is close to her or will soon enter her life. For a man, this king usually indicates help from a father's or older brother or a boss. All right, that all sounds pretty good to me. All right, Leo, take consideration of this person popping up for you on this day and work with them. Have a great day, Leo. Welcome, Virgo. Let's get you in the cards here. All right. And Virgo is embedded in the cards. Okay, let's see what we can do for Virgo. The Empress. Your life swells with abundance. You're a nurturer who takes in strays, eases other people's pain, and soothes their anxieties. At least the cards are telling you that's what's expected to happen on this day. Your openness and receptivity make you a good listener and an excellent counselor. Your home is warm, inviting, and filled with good food, and it's seen that way by others who associate with you. It's also your sanctuary and sacred place. The Empress often refers to your own mother or someone with maternal traits. Now, that person could be your mother. It could be a man with maternal traits. But the whole point is, watch for this person. Because this is the person you're likely to be engaged with this day. All right? You're a good person. Move out and enjoy the day, Virgo. Hi, Libra. Let's see what we can do for you today through the tarot cards. All right, here we go. Getting Virgo embedded in the cards. Whoop, whoop, look at there. Energy, energy, my friend. The cards are energetic. So we'll shuffle a little bit more. All right, there we go. Let's see what we have. Okay. 
The Ace of Swords. Potential. A situation is about to begin or is already in its early stages. One is the number equated with the source, the beginning and the end of all things. Strength in adversity is the hallmark of this card. You use all of your willpower, courage, and intellect to reach your goals. However, this double edge means that it cuts both ways. The result of its power and energy may be destructive as well as constructive. Understanding comes to you by cutting through illusion and peeling away the layers of a situation to get to the core of the truth. Today you have the ability to really get to the truth of matters. You're going to cut through the chaos and see what's really there. You have a beautiful day, Libra. Hi, Scorpio. Here we go. Let's get your daily reading underway. See what we have here. All right. The Two of Swords. This is the time of decision or choice of finding a balance in duality and in partnerships. You've reached the proverbial fork in the road and don't know which path to take. You keep procrastinating about your choice because there's something about the situation you refuse to see. A temporary truce or compromise may be in place, but the problem still exists Sooner or later, you must make a decision to end the stalemate. This is the day that you make that decision. All right, Scorpio, you enjoy your great day. Hello, Sagittarius. And here we are. I'm glad you showed up. Let's get going with your reading. Get you embedded in the cards here. And let's see what's going to happen with you on this most delightful day. Okay, here we go. The Ten of Wands. Transition to something new. An ending. Preparation for a new beginning. This is the card of the workaholic and of the individual on a mission. You assumed so much responsibility, you feel burdened. You probably don't want to delegate because you believe the old saw, if you want something done right, do it yourself. You may resent the heavy load, but you enjoy playing martyr or missionary. Does that sound like you, Sagittarius? Well, that's something you're going to be confronted with, quite possibly, today, and you're going to work through. Give yourself a break. Do you really have to have such a burden on your back? Look at what you've accomplished. All right? Enjoy the day, Sagittarius. Welcome, Capricorn. I am so happy that you came for your reading. Let's see what the cards are going to tell us today. And here we go for Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, here we go. The Seven of Pentacles. You triumph over mundane problems that you've encountered earlier with numerous options opening up to you. A cycle has been completed. It's time to take stock, evaluate your achievements and trust that the projects you've set in motion can now move forward under their new momentum. You may be tempted to rest on your laurels for a while, but the pause won't last long. Your inspiration urges you on. Through honest appraisal of your needs and desires, you attune yourself to deeper levels of awareness and take your cues from synchronicities, hunches, and impulses. This is a good day for you. A very good day. You've completed a cycle. 
you've got momentum going for what you now have cooking on the stove, this is going to be a great day, Capricorn. Enjoy it. Welcome, Aquarius. We've got the cards all warmed up for you here. Let's see what's happening. Getting you embedded in the cards. All right, here we go. The Hermit. The period of solitude you've been in is nearing completion. Tie up loose ends, finish projects, and plan ahead for the next phase. You attend workshops, lectures, and take courses that help you achieve your goals. This can include returning to a college or university, enrolling in graduate school after a long hiatus. Perhaps travel is even related to metaphysics and education. One way or the other, you find the answers to your questions, you solve your problems, and complete your projects. You've got a deeper level of psyche, the wisdom of the higher self. You are going to have a very beautiful day today, Aquarius. Look at the good things that you've been sitting back, contemplating, planning to work on, and now you're going to work on them. Enjoy the day, Aquarius. Hi, Pisces. What do the cards have in store for you today? Let's see. Let's get some shuffling. Whoa. My goodness, we've got some serious energy going on here. What's happening with you, Pisces? All right, let's see. Okay. And we'll shuffle a little more. Okay. The Ace of Cups. If you're single or uncommitted, a new love affair is on the way. If you're married or already involved, expect a passionate renewal of your relationship. Synonymous with the Holy Grail, this ace is a symbol of love that is intrinsically spiritual, which connects us to something larger than ourselves. Think newness with this card. New love, new start, new appreciation for life, new fortune, new opportunities, joy, fertility, a spiritual awakening. A happy situation is about to start or is already in the beginning stages. And that's the kind of day you can look forward to if you keep your eyes open, Pisces. And have a beautiful day. And that is the end of this reading. <music>